Have you ever wondered how Pittsburgh Public Transportation operates? Have you ever wondered the science that goes behind Pittsburgh Public Transportation or any public transportation for that matter? If so, you're at the right place. Hello, my name is Jack McKee and my scenario topic is Pittsburgh Public Transportation. I chose this topic because I have been interested in big cities and big buildings and everything in cities basically since, ever since I was just a little kid. I will be talking about the types of transportation in Pittsburgh today, how they work, and the future of, of public transportation in Pittsburgh. popular city on the west side of Pennsylvania and there are many ways that people get around in this city. Some ways to get around are buses, trains, trams, taxis, and many other things we can talk about more in depth later. Starting off, Port Authority of Pittsburgh is the company behind most of what happens in the city daily. This company uses connect cards pictured here. These connect cards are a card payment used for transportation in Pittsburgh. Other cities such as New York City and London use similar cards with different names. In London, it's the, called the Orster card, and in New York City, it's called the Metro card. The way this works is you put money into the card and you can pay for transportation easier and it has discounts in most cases. Now that we know a few basics, let's learn about what is used for transportation. And starting with our first method of transportation in Pittsburgh, the T-Light rail system is a light rail system in Pittsburgh, pictured here. The T-Light rail system spans for 26.2 miles along Pittsburgh. It starts in the south suburbs and goes down into downtown where it turns into a subway. It tunnels under the Allegheny River and the North Shore. It stops by PNC Park in Heinz Field, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates and Pittsburgh Steelers, and it has 53 stations. It functions from 5 a.m. until midnight, and the base fare is $2.50 with the Connect card and $2.75 with cash. The next transportation systems I will talk about are the two popular inclines in Pittsburgh the Monongahela and Duquesne inclines. They're both cable cars that run every 15 minutes in between Mount Washington and Station Square. They both run the same hours, 5.30 a.m. until 12.45 a.m. on every day but Sunday. On Sundays, the Monongahela run, runs from 8.45 a.m. until midnight, and the Duquesne runs from 7 a.m. until 12.45 a.m. Both inclines cost $5 with specific discounts for children and the elderly. Here are some pictures of the two inclines. These two inclines are more used for enjoyment than actual transportation, but they do still count as a method of transportation. The next method of transportation in Pittsburgh is probably the most popular, and it's buses. Pittsburgh has buses like any other city. These buses cost the same as the T-Light rail system, $2.50 with a connect card and $2.75 with cash. There are 700 buses in Pittsburgh daily, making nearly 7,000 stops. There are about 97 bus routes in Pittsburgh. Here are some pictures of the buses. Now, after that last picture, you're probably thinking to yourself, what happened to that bus? Why is it sticking to up? How did that get stuck? Well, sinkholes are actually a common problem in Pittsburgh and they affect many people and many transportation systems such as cars and buses and every type of vehicle basically. Some of the more self-explanatory transportation systems in Pittsburgh are Ubers and taxis. The they're available every day, 24 seven, and their prices vary on how long the now trip is. Now it's time to talk about the exciting and not so long away future of Pittsburgh public transportation. One of the main people helping Pittsburgh public transportation to move forward and make good advancements is Pete Buttigieg. He plans to donate money to Pittsburgh and other communities for needed city upgrades, such as transportation. The mayor of Pennsylvania approves and supports him and he has planned to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and install 500,000 electric vehicle charging stations all across America by 2030. He is he is a presidential candidate. He was a presidential candidate before. And he plans to fund biking and walking mobility by doubling the funding for the transportation alternative. Buddy Gag is the United States Secretary of Transportation and the full Senate confirmed him on February 2nd proving that he is a trustworthy ally to help Pittsburgh public transportation move forward. Here are some pictures of him. More factors for elevating Pittsburgh public transportation include Next Transit and the help of Pittsburgh Port Authority CEO, Katherine Kellman. Next Transit is an organization that is being used to help Pittsburgh public transportation be elevated. 
And his Freeport Authority CEO, Catherine Cullen, plans to replace and renovate buses, bus shelters, and T-stations, T-stations for the T-Light rail system. She also plans to launch a new website and mobile app just purely for Pittsburgh public transportation. I'm gonna use these bracelets for a demonstration. Say this is Next Transit, this purple one is Pete Buttigieg, and this is Catherine Kelman. They're all kind of just coming together like this. They're all work because they're all working towards a similar goal to make Pittsburgh public transportation better. My name is Jack McKee, and today we have covered Pittsburgh public transportation, ways of transportation, and the future. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good day.